And as you continue to move forward and grow, you mentioned about music mm -hmm. and how it affects kids, children, the state of hip hop. You also mentioned, um, you know, not necessarily being as heavy into the hip hop space and you catch it when you catch um, it. Yeah, I'm not really heavy into the hip hop space right now. I make hip hop music, but the, it, the thing is, it's like, it's not viral no more to me. It's not real no more. Everybody's just talking about everything. You got like, like these good people, like I wouldn't say, I would say good civilians, you know, they're rapping now, they got tattoos, they put tattoos on their face, they put, um, they buy a million, couple million views, and then now they're influencing these kids to make the kids think that this, this, and I got nephews, I got nieces. I, when I left, when I went to jail, they was young, they were five, six, now they're 12, 13, they're growing up into this music, they're listening to this music, and then half these guys, I'm like, no, they're not it. Right. <laughs> like, like <laughs> the shit that they talking about, and they're influencing you guys to do, and catch five years or 10 years after you, you know, this and that. These guys are on yachts and doing this and that, but I'm gonna tell you that I'm on yachts and doing this and that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you the real shit. Right. I ain't gonna lie to you, you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers on yachts getting, you know what I'm saying? They balls licked and shit like that. <laughs> These motherfuckers not in no drug spots and doing stuff like that, okay? <laughs> you need to stop listening to these guys and then they didn't kind of grow up like that neither, I feel. You know what I'm saying? It's like, even to hip hop nowadays, when I hear female rappers, right? I don't even listen to female rappers. They talking about shooting and drilling. I'm like, I don't want to hear that shit. It's bullshit. Come on. Yep. Come on. And I'm a person, I like real, authentic things. That's what make my spirit jump. So it's not that I'm being disrespectful. It's just not for me. Right. That you know what I'm saying? I need something real that's, that, that's what makes me go. Because I'm like, yo, this is real. This really happened. This could really that. And then he overcame this and this and this, this and that. So I can really catch a, like a, a spirit. I get energy off of it. Other shit, I'm like, man, this shit's some fucking boo boo clown shit. It just look good. <laughs> it sounds good. Get that shit out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that shit off the block. Nigga, I'm from Brooklyn. You better take that shit off the block somewhere. <laughs> but the, the, but that, that's why it gets to you. Because you done been out there. You done, you just said, I got out of jail. And now I've heard you talk about like, it before. Like to me, the difference is nowadays, shit don't be viral. It be happy. Mm. If you ask me, I'm like, these motherfuckers got to be paying for this shit because this is no way who the fuck is listening to this dumb shit. But you know, <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> but you know the label, you know how this shit go. But you know, it's, it's, it's certain different things. You got authentic music, like back in the days. You got commercial music and you got authentic music. We listened to DMX growing up in the streets. It was so authentic that they had to take it and put it on the radios. Mm. You understand? Nowadays, they just be paying for all this other shit on the radio. They ain't trying to hear that shit. Can it be fixed? Or it's too far gone now. Music too far gone now. Rap. Yo, listen, man. They got, I don't know what the fuck going on. Every time I go on my I'm like, I see girls talking about shooting every day. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> She's like, yeah, pop up on that bitch. What the, ah, ah, ah. And when you see me, it's smoke. <laughs> so fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, shut your ass up. <laughs> That's wild. It's true, so. But for 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 you for for you, what is music supposed to be though? Because we've Real. heard we but we've heard other rappers, entertainers say that a lot of rappers are actors that they're portraying an image. That's not truly yeah. them, but they seem to accept that. Why? Why for you is it's that something that you say you can't buy? It's to? hacked. It's pushed in our faces. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like when you when you see dudes like that, that you feel like you say you're telling your nieces and your nephews that that's not. Don't buy into that sort of lifestyle because while you doing five to ten. They'll be on their yachts and they'll be doing those things. I heard somebody the other day, right? It was this rapper. And we was talking. He's like, yo, when he got this deal, he had like four number ones on this, that, this, that. He was going back and forth to the trap, right? And I said, this is crazy. I said, how old are you? You're like 27. By the time I was 19, in the first inch that they gave me out, I was like, I was gone. I was going like, no, tomorrow. You couldn't bring me back. You couldn't pay me to go back to the chat. You crazy? You crazy? You crazy? You crazy? You had to jump out of windows, little things and shit all out like You crazy? Go back where? You know what I'm saying? So it's the mind state that shows me, like, if you just begin certain things, you get, oh, this is amazing. And then, you know, in the streets, I grew up in the streets. I was on the corners I was four, you know, and I grew up amongst drug dealers. My drug dealers, my babysitters. So I seen a lot of things early. I didn't have, like, a really childhood. I got, it was, like, really mature. You know what I'm saying? For my childhood, like a lot of drugs, money, this, that, um, calculations, this whole bunch of stuff. And business, I was learning business. And when I grew up and I turned 19 and I got into, to get out the hood and um, able to meet these um, so much individuals to put my money here, there, 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 there. 
and even just showed me so much other stuff like building businesses, um, tax forms, all types of shit that, of course I heard about in the hood, but it's different when you're seeing it and you're doing it, you know what I'm saying? And they showing me this and they showing me that. And um, the first chance I got out, I stood the fuck out. I didn't stay for clout to be like, I don't need no clout, I know the trouble. I know the, I know the, I know the, um, the back end of it, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these motherfuckers don't know the back end of it. So it's cool to talk about it, or we talking about your brother, or your friends, or the cousins. I ain't nobody wanna hear that shit. What the fuck you do? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause you can't be telling me to do some shit that want to rap some shit, right. and I'm outside doing this, but you ain't never lived it. Yeah. Right. And then now you're 30 or 20 something trying to live it. It don't mix, it don't add up. You know what I'm saying? You trying to be 20 something, 30 something trying to live it. It's like, y'all still doing this? Yeah. We gonna do that when we like 12, 13, 14. Like what the fuck? <laughs> I can't I can't be down with that shit.